Hello everybody, I'm Taco Barone. And I'm Cody Losey. Welcome to the Bobcat Den, sponsored by your, lo your local State Farm agent, Jeff Knoll. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. This week was eventful for Siena Gay Athletics. Tonight was senior night and the last time the Bobcats football team will play a game in front of the home crowd. The Siena Gay Bobcats seniors went out with a bang on senior night, lighting up the Nogales Apaches on the scoreboard like a Roman candle for a 57-13 victory. With the win, the Cats improved to 3-4. and five on the year let's recap the night's scoring for the cats senior christian poe scored two touchdowns his first was a pick six a 50 yard interception return for a touchdown his second score was a 20 yard touchdown reception on a quick slant from junior quarterback adriel alvarado fellow senior christian nash showed what he can do when healthy topping the 100 yard mark for the night and scoring a pair of touchdowns Nash's first touchdown was a 7-yard run on a quick pitch. Nash's second touchdown was on a 12-yard run. For the night, Nash averaged just over 8 yards a carry. Now just think how different this season could have been if Nash had been healthy for the entire season. Don't forget, Nash injured his left hamstring on the very first carry of the season and was out for the first four weeks. The rest of the scoring for the Cats came from different sources. Austin Bond scored his first touchdown of the night on a three-yard touchdown catch from Adriel Alvarado. Terrence Johnson flashed his wheel, scoring a 34-yard touchdown catch from Adriel. Will Walker finished the scoring for the night, picking up a fumble and dashing 60 yards for a score. The kicking game was pretty solid. Senior, senior Marco M Mesa drilled a 28-yard field goal and converted five of six extra points. The game's final point came from an unlikely source, senior Nate Lopez, an offensive lineman, who drilled his extra point. Tonight's final score, Cienega Bobcats 57, Nogales Apaches 13. The win keeps Cienega's flickering playoff hopes alive. The Bobcats now pack their bags and must win their final two games of the regular season on the road. The Cats travel to Desert View next Friday. Their season finale is against arch rival Suoro. Stay tuned for the Bobcat TV for its exclusive coverage of both games. Now this is a terrific capstone for these seniors and some lasting memories as the Cats continue to build some late season momentum. The Cats have averaged a whopping 53 points a game over the last three weeks, tallying 60 points in their three-point loss to Blenna two weeks ago. The Cats crushed Sunnyside last week 42-21 to and then tonight put 57 points on the board against Nogales. Tonight's score reports brought to you by Heinz Ketchup. Famous for its 57 varieties. Let's recap other sports from Cienega Athletics this week. On Wednesday, the Bobcat cross country team did a spectacular job showing off their hard work and dedication. Three boys made it in the top 10. Chris Leach finished in sixth place. Alec White came in just behind him in seventh place. And Corey Chapani came in 10th place. The girls did very well with freshman runner Sienna Johnson placing third. Sophomore Aly Alyssa Strite came in seventh. Ariana Castaneda finished 8th, Emily Fruge came in ninth, and senior Elizabeth Deaton finished 10th. Both the girls and the boys faced tough competition during the meet, with the Swahoro Cougars boys team sweeping the top 5 spots, essentially pitching a shutout. Swahoro Cougars runner Anthony Estrella posted a sizzling time of 16 53 to finish in first place. Great job to the boys and girls of the cross country team. Now Thursday was also a great day for the Bobcats with the swim team pulling through with many impressive wins. The boys came in second overall beating Sabino and losing a close duel with South Point by just six points. Yeah. Garrett Welch was a big story for the Bobcats winning all four events in which he competed. Welch swam backstroke for Cienega's 200 medley relay with Jason Brown, Bo Mejas Bruin, and Ryan Molina. That relay team came in first. Garrett smoked the field in the 50-yard freestyle sprint. Then he crushed it on a 100-yard backstroke, breaking his own school record. The most exciting swim of the day came on the afternoon's final event, the 400 freestyle relay. Welch turned a two-body length deficit into a two-body length win for his relay, evoking comparisons to legendary American Olympian Michael Phelps. Congratulations to Jason Brown, Bo Mejia Spring, Ryan Molina, and Garrett Welch for capping a terrific meet. Stay tuned for next Thursday's exclusive stroke-by-stroke -stroke coverage of Bob Bobcat Swim. The Cats take on Ironwood Ridge at the water at Clemens Center. We'll bring you that matchup right here on Bobcat TV. For Cody Losey, I'm Taco Barone. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.